Rockies third baseman Nolan Arenado has been expressing some, uh, shall we say, some tension with the upper management of the Colorado Rockies going out and saying, quote, there's a lot of disrespect from people there that I don't want to be a part of. Expressing how I felt, you know, betrayed, shall we say, disrespected. Arenado also saying it's not just about the rumors. And on this particular case, I, I, I want to side with Nolan Arenado. Now, I really, I, I'm not usually a big believer in a player going up against management by any form of the imagination here but the thing is where the where Nolan Arenado gets me here is where he says it's not about the rumors and of course this is something we can speculate until we see the actual which would never happen probably but until we see some actual you know talk from what happened from behind this or behind closed doors we'll never really know the whole situation here but my guess is if we were to speculate on something like this Arenado just signed this eight-year deal with the Rockies just here recently and you look at a guy in Arenado who I'll call the most underappreciated player in baseball because the guy's had 37 plus home runs 110 plus every RBIs every single year for the last five years the guys won seven straight gold gloves and the biggest surprise of them all the guy has absolutely zero MVPs to his name an absolute tragedy to me I mean sure let's let's play he plays at Colorado all right well let's take Jacob the Grom Cy Young away because he plays in a pitcher friendly park in New York I mean that's okay that's the game you're going to play here I don't think you can look at it this way I think there's a couple different things you look at from an MVP standpoint obviously how messed up it kind of is because you don't win the MVP on a bad team for the most part you have to be on a winning team a playoff team so that's going to affect but that's you know part of the issue here and the other issue is you look at he's going to be 29 this season I brought up those stats for this reason because you look at you know a lot of guys they get older and you can say well they've accomplished everything they want to accomplish all they want now is a championship now Arenado in his case he could still be trying to get an MVP title here or trophy here at some point in time in his career and at 29 there's not a lot of years left in that and more importantly you want at 29 like we said most guys and in, in Arenado looks like he's in that case here it's not like he was complaining about his stats he was complaining about the team here he wants to be on a winning team he wants to be on a World Series contender and I feel like to see him kind of have the backlash he does one year later is there's some sort of tension there where he agreed on his contract that there was some sort of agreement like yeah we're going to try to improve this team we're going to try to make them a World Series contender year in and year out as long as you're under contract with us and now here we are all these trade rumors coming across whether how they went down whether you know how they talked to him about it and everything else besides the point we're getting closer and closer to spring training now and now that the team made it clear they didn't want to trade him and they was you know kind of sitting tight here the one thing you cannot help but miss with this Colorado Rockies team is how atrocious the pitching staff is year in and year out sure that anybody can hit in court so why do they pay all these guys so much money I've always wondered that you know if everybody can hit courts so easy why are we not signing why do they not sign pitchers to make the team I I don't know, beats me, I guess. But regardless, the only team with the worst ERA last year in baseball, then the Colorado Rockies pitching staff was the Baltimore Orioles. The Baltimore Orioles, who lost 108 games last season, just to clarify that. So when you look at the offseason and you see the Rockies make no attempt to go out there and sign a pitcher, try to improve the bullpen, try to improve the pitching staff in any form of way, I can see why Arenado's upset. Because at the end of the day, they have all these sluggers in the lineup, but they can only go so far if their pitchers are giving up six runs every single game and that is you know what the Rockies seen last year winning 71 games and that is you can see why Arenado would be upset there but you can flip the coin around a little bit here on this one I get I can get by it or not I've always liked the guy I'd love to see you know I want to see him if he can win a championship and MVP that'd be fantastic but you have to come back and say Arenado signed this contract with the Rockies a 35 million dollar a year contract that's a lot of money did you need 35 million could you want 30 could you want 28 if you was worried about winning a championship you didn't sign with the Red Sox you didn't sign with the Yankees you didn't sign with the Cubs you didn't sign with the Phillies you did sign with the Colorado Rockies now granted they fill up stadium they're not a big sports market team not you know compared to those teams where they can go out there and have a 200 million dollar payroll the Rockies sitting at what about 160 million right now that's a lot of money they don't have a lot of room to go out there and sign players and they want players they're either going to, have to trade for young guys under team control or they're going to have to you know develop their own guys or they're going to have to move contracts and they're not and auto obviously being a guy that with the contract he has the Rockies wanted to win they can make a trade and send him off I guess and make some cap space but if I'm Arenado I think you have to add a little bit here take a little bit of responsibility for what you signed you had to be able to see if you if you felt disrespected for the direction of the team you had to be able to look and say well how's the pitching staff doing how's the you know how are we going to be able to manage the cap why am I taking 35 million dollars off the budget you can do a lot of the extra eight million later on. Do you need the extra eight million? It probably could have helped your team in another way if you was that concerned about picking up pieces in free agency, I think, here, if that's the case.